Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be discussing the different recording limits that you may have on the Residio Total Connect 2.0 cameras. So just to start off, there are two kinds of the of the Residio cameras, right? There's the old generation SD cameras, and then there's the new line, which is the new generation HD cameras, which includes the uh, WOC1, which is the outdoor, and then you have the two indoor ones, the WIC1 and the WIC2. Now, all of these cameras here, they do have certain recording limits on Total Connect. These are not cameras like where you have a DVR system where they record 24 seven and you can go back and look at every second of the day. Instead, these cameras have built in motions that when the motion detects, uh, or they even have a voice motion as well. So whenever they detect any motion or voice, they actually start a recording. Now the recordings can be different lengths and the storage limit depends on which which camera you're using. So if you're using an old generation camera, the 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 storage space is different than if you're using the new generation HD cameras. And I'm going to get into that in just one second. So now I want to go ahead and start off with the Residio new generation HD cameras. So these cameras include the WOC1, which is the outdoor, and then you have the two indoor ones, which are the WIC1 and the WIC2s. Now these cameras have two kind of storage limits and they can vary depending on what your company may, may, uh, may limit you to. When you're with Alarm Grid, we always set it to the max by default. So if you're with us, you're gonna get the max 30 day storage or 1,500 video clips, whichever one comes first. Or the other lower option is seven day video storage and 350 clips, whichever comes first. Now, like I said, when you're monitored with Alarm Grid, we automatically set it to the highest by default. You're, if you're monitored by another company, they may vary, so you may wanna go ahead and check in with them to see what exactly it is that they're giving you for the price that you're paying. Now, you, you may ask, what happens when you hit that limit? What happens when you hit the 1,500 clips first? Or what happens if you hit the 30 days? Uh, what happens with those videos is to make space for the new incoming video clips, it starts to, to delete the older video clips. So what you can do, if there is an older video clip that you would like to save, all you have to do is go to your Total Connect app, go to the events, and you can save it onto your phone, to your tablet, or even onto your computer. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into the limits of the old generation SD cameras. Now I wanna go ahead and get into the old generation SD cameras. Now these cameras only have one option available for storage limits. They can only do seven day storage or 100 megabytes worth of storage. Whichever one comes first, same thing as the older generation camera, or the new generation cameras. Now the old generation cameras like I said, have seven day or, th or 100 megabytes worth of storage. Now, just so you kind of have a little understanding of how, how much a file size can be with the old generation cameras, you're usually looking at three to 400 uh, kilobytes, or there are some videos that take up two megabytes worth of space. So if that is the case, if we're assuming that every video you have stores at two megabytes, that means for the old generation cameras, you can have up to 50 clips maximum if each video is two megabytes uh, per clip. Now, after going over all these storage limits, what do you do or how do you save a clip so that it doesn't automatically get deleted when you mix that maximum capacity? All right, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna log into my Total Connect account just so I can show you guys real quick how to download a quick video. Give me just one second. Let me get the iPad ready. All right, so this is gonna be the same whether it's on a computer, tablet, or your phone. As long as you have the Total Connect 2.0 account, all you gotta do is log in. Mine's automatically gonna log me into my account. After you go, after you're logged in, if you have videos enabled on your Total Connect, you should see um, in your events, you'll see clips from the actual videos in your events, and all you gotta do, there's a little download icon right to the right-hand side of the clip, you click on it, it says download video, you just select yes, and then it'll start download, downloading the video to your device. Now, you can do this for as many clips as you need. 
Um, obviously, as long as you have space on your on your device, you're good to go. But again, you need to make sure you're saving the important clips that you want to save. That way, they don't get deleted. Because depending on what cameras you have, or and what limit your cameras are set to, you may have an important clip that may need to be saved. And if you don't save it, well, it's gone forever. So if you guys have any questions at all about the storage limits, about how to get video cameras activated with us or anything, give us a call or email us at support at alarmgear.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the channel, and enable notifications so whenever we upload new content, you guys get notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.